Hello, uh, very good evening to all of you. Today we are going to discuss the case note of Mr. George Palo Stiff, uh, an aged client who uh, has bed sore complications. So we are writing a letter to the tissue viability nurse here. So I just go ahead with the annotation, just a minute. Yep, done. So you are writing the letter to a tissue viability nurse. Uh, a tissue viability nurse is a nurse who is, uh, uh, who, uh, who is specialized in the care of this type of problems. So we are writing to uh, uh, such a nurse to arrange home visit to Mr. Pelosti for wound dressing changes until his wound heals. So this is the question. So we are requesting home visits for uh, Mr. Pelosti for wound dressing from a uh, tissue viability nurse. Now what we have to write in the letter is that we have to write, uh, we need to explain his condition, explain his medical history and medication. So condition, medical history and medication. So write to Ms. Lenny Carlos, Carolas, a tissue ability mm -hmm. nurse, Community Medical Center, 17 Judges Road, Melbourne. So let us go ahead and see uh, what is there in the beginning. So you're a community nurse, Ms. Mary Matthew, who visits every day. One of your patients, Mr. George Palustiv, a bedridden patient at his residence. So it's very clear. So you are a community health nurse, community nurse, visit Mr. Palustiv at his residence. And today's date is 22nd July 2019. And the name is George Palostev. He's 90. He's a retired policeman, government pension, alcoholic for the last 45 years, smoker for the last 55 years, extra user. So these things we don't need actually. We just need a, where he lives. He lives with his son, who is 65. He's also aged. So who is going to look after uh, uh, a this aged man? He's also aged, so its answer is very clear. Grandchildren look after him, so that something which is to be written there, the social history. So we don't need uh, all these things. So uh, because the letter becomes too big. Now let's go ahead with the medical history. We need all the things here. DM. Hypertension, angioplasty, right leg below knee amputation. So don't need it, these things in detail. If you um, write in detail, it becomes too big. So we just need to inform the medical history. Medications for this, DM, insulin regular, mixtard, nephidipin, frosamide, cestrel. So these are the medications for this conditions here. Now, our condition is something different. Now, he has a diet here, low salt, diabetic diet, and fluid restriction. So, we are not going to write this to the tissue specialist nurse, tissue viability, viability nurse, because she's not responsible for the low salt, diabetic diet, and fluid restriction. So, the community nurse or the carers are, in, are directly responsible for these things. Now, the nursing care. Bedside nursing care assists with showering and medication, self with feeding position, change every two hours, mouth care. This also is not the responsibility of the tissue viability nurse, so please ignore it. Diarrhea, incontinence of bowel on 15-7, so that's not our problem. Incontinence of bladder, refer to GP, catheterization done, that's not our problem. Now, we have a problem here in these two dates. That's 20 June 2019, patient complained of small blister over right buttock, skin red and warm, broken, small superficial wound, dressing done, skin barrier product applied. So this is the first thing that we have to mention. The second thing here, assessment after a month, would not heal, 
Purse, slow, wound deep, dry dressing done, alternate pressure resistant mattress provided. So this two are the thing. These two are the things that we have to say about his condition. So the condition is very clear. Now, for this, what we have done is that first, initially what we have done is the dressing done and skin barrier product applied. The secondary thing what we have done is dry dressing done and then pressure mattress provided. And then after two days, we referred him to a referral hospital, wound debridement done there. And that's today itself. He's discharged on the same day after the wound debridement. Now, we have nursing care, wound dressing, activities of daily living, change position every two hours, care, care of urinary catheter, wound irrigated with protocin, packed with aqueous, and all these things are there. So these all are important there. Continue the use of silver and then no more signs of pus. Refer to tissue viability nurse for bed sore wound care. So the tissue viability nurse is not responsible for activities of daily living, changing position, care of urinary catheter. She is responsible for the wound dressing and the wound is irrigated with protocin, packed with equacel uh, and tegard. So you need to consider the silver until no more signs of infection. So this is what we need to see. We need to refer to the tissue viability nurse, not changing position and activities of daily living or urinary catheter. So let us go ahead and see. I'm writing to refer Mr. George Palo Steve, who requires your regular home visits for wound dressing. So that's it. We uh, referred the patient and the requirement is said directly, requires your regular home visits for wound dressing. He hasn't gone wound debridement for a deep bed sore and is being discharged today. So what is the condition? So that's the procedure done. Uh, for what? A deep bed sore and he's discharged today. Mr. Palestif, uh, right leg below the knee amputee. So his condition is very well explained. Is bedridden and is visited from our service on a daily basis. Now, so he's uh, right leg below the knee amputee. He's bedridden and the visits are made from our care uh, every day. On 20 June 2019, Assessment revealed a so small superficial wound which was dressed and was applied with a skin barrier product. So that's it. So uh, what happened on 20th June? So we assessed, we found a small superficial wound which was dressed and was applied with the skin barrier product. So um, uh, some will be writing the patient complained of a small blister so it is exaggeration so we don't need to write uh, the thing uh, that much explained so we just need to say what is what you found that was a superficial found a superficial wound it was small dressed applied with skin barrier product that's it however the wound showed no positive signs of healing and became deep with purse and slow when assessed on 20th of this month. So uh, on, on 20th of this month, it showed no positive signs of healing. It became deep with purse and slow. So the condition was um, disappointing. So therefore, he was provided with dry dressing, dry dressing and was laid on a pressure resistant mattress. So uh, we need to rephrase what was uh, there in the case note. That's why we have written was laid because he is a bedridden patient. So he will be laid on a pressure resistant mattress. In addition, at the referral hospital, 
the debridement procedure was performed today. So the debridement, what debridement is mentioned here? The wound debridement for a deep bed sore, where it is there on his um, right. Yep, just a minute. Okay. So we have to mention where it was. Um, it was on his right buttock, right? So we have to add it there. Just a minute, I'll add it. Right. Okay. Wound on his right buttock. So, we need to say where it happened. So where the sore, where the, the sore was there on his right buttock. So we have to mention that too. So that was mentioned here on his right buttock, which was dressed and was applied with skin barrier project. However, the wound showed no positive signs of healing. So that's it. Now, um, Mr. Pelosi lives with his 65-year-old son. So the year is mentioned here because, you know, that the, uh, the patient is 90 and his son is already 65. So you need to say that too. And is cared by his grandchildren. So who is directly caring? Mr. Pelosi is his grandchildren. He has a history of hypertension diabetes mellitus, angioplasty, and is on regular medications. We are not going to say insulin regular, mixed start 15 units and 10 units, uh, frosamide, all these things, because a tissue viability nurse is not going to take care of these medications. The community nurse or the carer are responsible for this thing. So it would be appreciated if you could continue your specialized wound dressing for Mr. Pelo Steve until the wound heals. So your specialized wound dressing. So you are going, you are requesting regular home visits for wound dressing. So you, if you could continue your specialized wound dressing for Mr. Pelo Steve until the wound heals. Kindly note that it is irrigated with pro Front stand packed with Equagel, Equacel AG and Tegada, for which the silver pack is to be continued until no further signs of infection. So that's it. Uh, what we have done in these two sentences is that the specialized wound dressing for Mr. Pelosi until the wound heals. Now, the wound is irrigated with prostan, uh, prontostan, packed with Equacel AG and Tegadam. So these are the medications which is directly concerned with the tissue viability nurse. And that's the reason why we have written these things here, not the other medicines like insulin, um, frosamide, all these things. Instead of those, medicines, regular medications, we have mentioned the, 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 these things which are needed for the tissue viability nurse. That's it. So if you have any further queries about Mr. Pelosi's stiff condition, please do not hesitate to contact me. You are sincerely community health nurse. So you need to mention the name of the community health nurse. I think the name is... Miss Mary Matthew, so you can uh, add there, Miss Mary Matthew. So just don't use this Miss Mary Matthew, community health nurse. So thank you all. We will be meeting with another letter soon. Till then, bye.